JP Morgan CEO warns of economic pawn and turbulence that will scare people. JP Morgan CEO Jamie Dimon said Thursday that Americans will feel economic pain before an agreement is reached on raising the debt ceiling and markets will start to experience frightening turbulence as a possible default gets closer. Dimon made the remarks in an interview with CNN on Thursday, predicting that deadlocked Democrats and Republicans will reach a deal on lifting the debt cap beyond the current $31.4 trillion within a few months, but not before Americans suffer some economic hardship. You'll feel the pain before it happens, Dimon told CNN, referring to the moment when the Treasury Department's arsenal of extraordinary measures for continuing to settle the US government's debt obligations runs out. As the moment of potential default approaches, Dimon suggested nervous investors will send markets on a wild ride. You'll see it in the markets and that will scare people, Dimon said, adding that most people in Washington understand how serious the debt ceiling standoff is and they want to get it to a resolution. Dimon's warning about the prospect of sharp market gyrations ahead of a possible def default echo remarks made a day prior by House Speaker Rep. Kevin McCarthy. The Republican lawmaker said Wednesday that investors should be concerned about the standoff in Washington over raising the debt ceiling as the country inches closer to a possible default and President Joe Biden refuses to negotiate spending cuts as a condition of GOP agreement to lift the cap. Asked whether he plans to speak to investors about the GOP proposal in the meantime in order to reassure markets, McCarthy said that Wall Street is right to be worried. They should be concerned, McCarthy said, adding that Biden hasn't wanted to meet with him and that recent communication between the pair has been limited to an exchange of letters. In his letter to the president, McCarthy warned that Biden's refusal to negotiate spending cuts to get GOP backing on raising the debt ceiling could prevent America from meeting its obligations and hold dire ramifications for the entire nation. Biden replied to McCarthy that he's prepared to consider Republican proposals for spending cuts as part of a budget plan, but that such discussions must be separate from prompt action on the Congress' basic obligation to pay the nation's bills and avoid economic catastrophe. Failure to reach an agreement over the debt ceiling could lead to a default on U.S. debt obligations, an outcome many economists have warned would be disastrous. Standoffs over raising the debt limit have been a regular feature of Washington's partisan politics, though they have largely been resolved before they could impact markets. In one case, however, an extended deadlock in 2011 led Standard & Poor's to downgrade the U.S. credit rating for the first time, sparking market volatility. Fitch Ratings warned in February that if investors believed the government were to default, this would lead to increased redemptions and volatility in Treasury-only money market funds, as opposed to prime and government money market funds. Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen recently warned that gaps in the regulatory framework for money market funds makes them prone to runs on deposits when market stress is extreme.